it's been a while since I have properly done a video talking about my Warriors project, The Burning Light, so let's do an update. Uh, in case you were stumbling across this video and you don't know what The Burning Light is, I would suggest going back and watching some of my older videos on it, but I will try to very briefly sum it up. The Burning Light is a Warriors AU that I'm currently writing into a fanfiction and plan to maybe someday turn into a webcomic that focuses on the concept of what if Scourge killed Firestar in the Darkest Hour? And on top of that, what would things be like in the Warrior Cats universe 30 years later? As for who I'm drawing, I am drawing two side characters or two background characters named Poppy Fern and Red Kit. They are from ThunderClan, and Poppy Fern is the sister of the clan leader Morningstar, who I talked about in my last speed paint I did for this project. Poppy Fern and Morningstar don't get along too well and haven't been close since they were really young, and Poppy Fern is actually really jealous of her because from Poppy Fern's perspective, Morningstar basically got everything she could have ever wanted, while Poppy Fern feels like she's been left behind a bit. On top of that, Morningstar has three kits of her own, Sandstone, Red Frost, and Maple Briar, who she kind of let do whatever. Poppy Fern now has a kit of her own, Red Kit, however he was part of a litter of three and his two litter mates didn't last very long after they were born. I probably won't go into too much detail about their relationship in The Burning Light since Poppy Fern is kind of a background character in ThunderClan, but I have plans to write shorter fanfics about the backstories of a few characters and Morningstar is probably going to be one of the first who gets one, so their past and relationship will be delved into more then. Now moving on to the update. Right now I'm I'm currently working to plot out the story and plan out each of the chapters. The story is split into three acts and as of now act one is basically done. I'm sure there will be some minor changes here and there as time goes on, but act one I think is more or less how it will be once the fanfiction gets posted. As for acts two and three, they're the ones that I am currently trying to work through. I have a pretty solid idea of what happens in both, but it's more or less just a matter of putting everything down and placing exactly where it's supposed to go, why these things happen, and what the events do to the characters. Act 2, I think, is pretty solid for now, but still needs some work, while Act 3 is definitely the messiest currently. The plan right now is to plot out the entire story, and once that's done, I'll start writing and posting the chapters one at a time. Currently, I have the prologue, chapter 1, and chapter 2 written, and I have most of the chapters from Act 1 planned out and fully detailed. From where things are currently, the fanfiction will be about 30 chapters? 36? 40? 40 something? I don't- it's hard to place, that's just where I'm estimating it'll land. The thing that has definitely been the trickiest is the juggling act of multiple perspectives. Act 1 is pretty easy since it's just Sunny's perspective, but with each act the perspectives double. Sunny is still a point of view throughout the whole story, but starting in Act 2, Blossom will also be a point of view character since she goes off on her own little adventure with a secondary character. Act 3 still has the both of them, but with two additional characters on top of that. I won't say who they are because I think I think that's a, a little spoilery, but I think by the end of Act 1 it'll be pretty clear who they are. Act 1 as a whole is definitely the simplest since it takes place mostly in ThunderClan, focuses on a set number of characters, and is mostly there just to set up Sunny's main struggles through the story as well as the main plot. It's the shortest of the acts, probably only going to be around 10-ish chapters, and I'm sure the acts will get longer from there. Acts 2 and 3 are easily my favorites though. I wish you guys knew <laughs> what I do about the story because man, there's just so many fun things that happen. Maybe Maybe not fun, <laughs> definitely not fun for the characters, but fun for me as the person writing and posting it. Going back to my plans, I believe I've mentioned this in the past, but the fanfiction is more or less a test run of the story so that in the future, once I feel like I am ready enough, I can go through, fix any major issues the story has, and then start adapting it into a comic. I truly believe that this story is best suited for a more visual medium. As much as I love writing, it's not my strong suit. And I think really getting to see the characters in action as they progress through the plot would be the best overall. Even better if someday I can maybe get a comic dub done. Along the way, I would also love to make little animatics or AMVs with the characters. I, I already have so many ideas that I've picked up over the years and later down the line, if 
people like the story enough, maybe some maps? If people are interested, of course. Either way, I just adore this project so much and I am so excited to see it finish someday. Even if it stops at just being a fanfiction or if things change over the years. But that should be the full update. I hope you all enjoyed and we can only hope that Acts 2 and 3 don't give me any more trouble to plot out and write so I can get started on writing and posting the fanfic by the end of this year.